Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and I have another bit of news that I want to go ahead and hit you guys with, and I know there's been a lot of people who have said, well, the Buccaneers have barely made any moves so far in this free agency, but it has been reported by Greg Allman of The Athletic that they have actually reached out to former Arizona Cardinals safety linebacker, hybrid type of player, Dion Buchanan, who has played with Todd Bowles, Bruce Arians, and Byron Leftwich during his entire tenure with the Arizona Cardinals from 2014 to 2018. He is now a free agent in the Buccaneers. Buccaneers are interested. I know there's going to be a few of you guys who are going to say, who cares about Dion Buchanan? But I'm here to tell you guys right now today that this guy could be a very, very low-key, valuable signing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And we're going to talk about it right now and why he could be valuable to this team. But the first thing that I want to address is, yes, the Buccaneers are making moves. They're trying to do some stuff. Uh, it's just very quiet and very behind the scenes right now, which I think is very interesting. I kind of like it because... You know, we've, we've always seen the Buccaneers go for these big free agent signings and it doesn't work out. So I kind of like how they're being a little bit sneaky. We just have to be patient on our ends. But let's talk about Deion Buchanan. So right now, as it stands, the Buccaneers are interested. And there's also been some level of interest from the New York Giants as well. Deion Buchanan does know a couple of the guys on the coaching staff for the Giants. But he knows a lot of people on the coaching staff for the Buccaneers. So you'd have to assume that he is the favorite to sign them. So he's six foot one, 211 pounds. And like I said, a safety linebacker type of hybrid his first two years 2014 2015 he played safety and linebacker for the Arizona Cardinals until he officially fully transitioned over to the linebacker role from 2016 to 2018 and this guy in 2014 and in 2018 he had a little bit more of a hybrid rotational type of role he only started nine games in 2014 and six games in 2018 but in between those years from 2015 to 2017 he was a starting linebacker for this team and he was pretty solid all things considered now if the Buccaneers were to sign him I would assume they might move him back to safety because that's kind of what he was doing back whenever Bruce Arians first got to town so you would assume they would try him at both positions or and kind of keep him in that hybrid role but he has experience in Todd Bowles defense he has experience with what Bruce Arians does as well you know, he pretty much knows the entire Buccaneers coaching staff. So it's safe to say that that is a very thorough connection there all the way down the list of all the Buccaneers coaches. So that's the first thing that's very appealing. He's still a very young player, only 26 years old, kind of right in the prime of his playing time right now. There are some concerns of his injuries and whatnot. He's missed 10 games in the past three years. That's not very good under many circumstances. But like I said, 2016, 2017, all the games that he played in, uh, he was the starter. And then just this past season, he wasn't a full-time starter. He was a rotational guy, only started six out of the 13 games he played in. But I still feel that that can be a very valuable rotational type of guy. And it kind of kills two birds with one stone in a way because not only are you getting linebacker depth, you're also getting some safety depth as well. So that makes him a pretty valuable depth rotational type of guy, a very valuable player to this team. I know it might not be the most flashy signing, but Bruce Arians has been known to get some really good play out of some really low-key type of players. So this could be a signing that could be very beneficial. De Dion Buchanan, uh, when he has been playing safety, when he has been playing linebacker, he's been very valuable in the run game, and he hits like a freaking truck. So I think that pairing, up, pairing him up with guys like Jordan Whitehead, pairing him up with guys like MJ Stewart, Justin Evans, you could have a very hard-hitting secondary and a linebacker core, especially with the question marks that we now have with Kendall Beckwith and his injury status, um, and you also have Quan Alexander leaving to go to free agency. This move would do really big wonders of really shoring up some of that depth question marks that are now present on certain positions such as the linebacker core and maybe a little bit in the safety core but i want to know what you guys think about this move down in the comment section below what do you think about the idea of bringing in Dion buchanan i'm all for it um i didn't put him in my free agent uh you know free agent signing video that the bucks should bring in a couple days ago i don't know why i didn't put him in there i just completely forgot but i'm absolutely great with having Dion buchanan come onto this team i think that he would be a very valuable depth piece and you know he could also even become a fringe starter or maybe even a full-time starter as well if he does some good enough things and can stay fully healthy but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys all enjoyed let me know what you think about all of it down in the comment section below and as always i will continue to keep you updated with all the buccaneers news this week but until then and as always goodbye for now guys and go bucks